What's going on everybody? I've been asked a lot about my Scorpion EXO R1 Air in the carbon. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of this helmet today. See if it's for you. All right, so this helmet I bought the week before Daytona Bike Week last year. It has around 18,000 miles on it currently. And here's a quick little thing of why I went with it. I wanted a lighter helmet. Riding long distance with a four, five, six pound helmet, it kills your neck. So I wanted under that. I knew carbon fiber would be lighter, so I did a little research. This particular helmet weighs 3.2 pounds and it's roughly 550. Now, I bought it at JMP Cycle and you can also do the same thing at Revzilla and Cycle Gear. They have the RPM programs like 60 bucks for the year. Buy that, buy the helmet. Even if you're gonna buy something else beforehand, definitely, definitely get on that program because you will earn money back that you can add to future purchases. So, a quick little glimpse compared to other brands. Simpson, they are 3.5 pounds and they run 700 bucks. Sedici, Sedici has two carbon, one with a drop down visor, one without. I held the one without next to this one this one was noticeably lighter than the Sedici, but Sedici claims it weighs 3.2 pounds also. And right now they're on clearance for about 400 bucks, but I think they skewed their numbers. Ruroc, they got the liquid carbon, it's like 600 bucks. They measure theirs in stone. When I did the conversion for this helmet, it was still like five pounds. It was actually a little over five pounds. And I contacted them about it because I was like, I know I suck at math, but this is what the conversions are doing. They go and do the conversion and say it's more like 4.6 pounds. So if you have a Rurock helmet and you see this video, throw that thing on a scale for us all and put down the weight because Rurock does it in stone. We need it in pounds and ounces. And there is a newer helmet that I have just now recently seen that looks really good. It's a carbon fiber helmet and it comes with gold visor, gold vents and spoilers or red uh, visor and spoilers. And that is the Icon and it weighs 3.3 pounds and it's 550, same as this helmet. So what'd you get for 550 with this helmet? Well, you get the helmet, obviously. It does come with a bag. I'd show you the bag, but I've lost it somewhere around here. But it also comes with this bag, which is holding this tinted visor. And this tinted visor is a pin lock. It comes with a clear visor. If I remember right, this one was already attached because I see a bug on it. So apparently that's what I wore back to the house. And it also comes with pin lock. So if you like pin lock, you got that option with this helmet. Now, I actually a week later changed over to this gold visor. The gold visor does not have a pin lock. So if you want to go with colors, then just keep them biased. You might not have that option. They could have changed it. I hadn't really looked since I bought this one and that was a year ago. Okay, so you got a main vent here on your chin, you got a vent here, and there is another vent switch inside, and you also have an air pump with a little relief valve. So the air pump, if it's a little loose on your face, you can pump that bad boy up, and it'll stick to your face better. Uh, it is calm ready. It, keep in mind, though, I do have the pack caulk bold with the 60 millimeter JL Audio speakers which I can't even see in here, so you probably won't be able to either, but they are there. And the one bad thing is the normal speakers will drop right down in the hole. The JBLs, you have to use that poofy Velcro piece. 
to put them in and then they go on top of the hole which you can actually fill the speaker over the rest of the helmet you don't feel it when you put your head on it at least i don't i can kind of feel like it grazed my ear but once i get the helmet on and get adjusted with my ears flat i don't feel nothing uh, audio with the cardo on is awesome extremely clear uh phone calls only time people hear the exhaust or wind or me talking, which they said they really didn't hear the wind, they just heard the exhaust in my voice, was uh, the only time I've really used that. But people never complained about how loud it was on a phone call. Now, I have a loud bike, I have a loud exhaust, and I do high speeds. So I'm kind of unfair to say what, if this is an extremely quiet helmet or not. If, when I do do the speed limits and I, it was stock, I didn't have a helmet. <laughs> I had it, but I didn't have it with me. Uh, riding normal and all that, I hear the bike. It, my ears aren't ringing when I get off the bike. It, that'll probably be the best way for me to say this. With the speeds I do, the exhaust as loud as it is, I have no ear ringing after going for a ride. Uh, so, let's see what else. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and move into a review. And this is reviews that I've seen looking for this helmet. Uh, they was complaining about these spoilers and the vent falling off because apparently they're double sticky taped. I don't have that problem. If you go into the store, you can do what I did, test it. I pulled it up. And I just, I just hit on it to listen to see if there's a thud or anything different, you know, because it sounds different than it's probably going to release. So grab a different box and test it. Um, my personal negative. I have a D lamb spot right here in the back from the clear coat D lamb and off of the carbon fiber but you really can't feel the bump it's just discolored and this one was on me you know taking responsibility for me here i had a chin mount that i was going to attach to it and the corner caught and it wasn't right and i lifted it back up it wasn't all the way down it was just a corner and it actually peeled the clear coat right there out so keep an eye on that Fill in that spot, it does not feel like it was sanded when they clear coated it because they use the epoxy in the helmet when the carbon fiber, once that hardens, they're supposed to sand it down real nice and good and then clear coat the crap out of it with at least two to three coats of clear coat. And this one here has probably about three coats of clear coat on it, filling the lip, but the actual spot there does not feel like it was sanded. I'm not concerned about that. Those two spots I'm not concerned about because if I'm landing on my head, I got bigger problems than cosmetic. Those, that clear coat bubbling and the other parts not affecting the durability of the carbon fiber. So they do have a warranty program. I wasn't gonna send it off and wait for an answer. I just said, screw it, I'm keeping it. Now, with that being said, would I buy this helmet again? Yes, I would. Uh, this helmet is extremely light. It has not caused me any neck problems. My head, when I look, used to whip around real hard. It does not in this helmet. It, I have full mobility and control, no sudden shocks of getting my head yanked one way or the other, like I did with my other helmets. Um, I would recommend it. Honestly, I would, and I would buy it again. I don't, I don't like the videos where you see people getting helmets sent and you see them throwing it on and then just going riding around town and saying, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, to me, those aren't really authentic videos. They're just pushing a product that they probably don't need because they don't have the miles. This one's got 18,000 miles on it. So when I say this about this helmet, it is 100% true. So 
be aware when you watch these videos on YouTube that you may be getting smoke, you may be getting the truth. This one is a truthful video. I actually bought this helmet and I do not regret it. Even with the two flaws it has, I do not regret it. I would definitely buy it again and I would definitely recommend it. It is a good mid price point, in my opinion, helmet. And I mean, look at it, it looks pretty daggum cool. Especially with that gold visor, just ignore the fingerprints. Uh, but if you see anything that I have on my bike or I actually wear and you want to know about it, don't be shy, comment down below. Uh, go and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get alerted when I do put out another video. And yeah, give me a thumbs up too if you don't mind. Uh, it helps me in the long run. Peace.